very spirit of Olympics has come under the scan of the very essence of sport has been tarnished as a match fixing evil reared its ugly head in the badminton courts of the Wembley Arena at London 2012. For the Badminton Federation cracking the whip and disqualifying four leading Asian women's double pairs for deliberately throwing games, the reputation of the shuttle sport has certainly taken a massive hit. But the Badminton Court did provide some cheer for Indian fans as Parapali Kashyap stormed into the quarters, becoming the first Indian men's shuttler to do so. And hopes are riding high in the fourth seat. Saina Nehval has begun a campaign of the round of 16 against Dutch woman Ni Zhang at the Wembley Arena. But plenty what we can hope for from that big match that Simon Eval is playing. But not the best of days for the Olympics with a fixing controversy. But credit to the International Olympic Council, the London organizers and the Badminton Federation to swing an action right away and douse the flames at the earliest. Hello and welcome to Game for Gold as we look back at proceedings on day six of the London Games with me, Sandra And of course, on the show with us this evening, we've got Shika Ogura here in the Delhi studios. And of course, the legendary badminton player Prakash Padukone in Bangalore, along with former Indian hockey captain Ashish Balal. And Ashish would not be a very happy man seeing the Indians uh, fall flat, but Prakash will be hoping for some good results from Saina to follow uh, uh, Kashyap's victory. But first, before we get talking to these uh, fine experts, a quick look at all that's made the headlines this evening. Big blow for India's medal hopes. Ace Archer and top medal bet Deepika Kumari makes an embarrassing early exit. Bows out in the round of 32 in the women's individual competition. More disappointment for India. Medal hopes in hockey too begin to fade away. Kiwis crush India 3-1 to hand Chetri and Co. their second straight loss. Top stars Roger, Fedra and Nawaz Djokovic secure butts in the quarterfinals. The men's singles at London. The defending champions Roger Federer and Rorinka bow out in the second round of men's doubles. And Michael Phelps claims an historic 19th Olympic medal wins record 15th gold in men's freestyle relay to stake claim to be the greatest Olympian of all time. Well, the Olympics has been marred by match fixing controversy on the badminton courts, and that is our top focus here on Game for Call this evening. After Indian pair of Ashwini Pannappa and Jwala Gutta narrowly crashed out of the women's doubles, the Indian contingent to alleged foul play, citing that the Japanese deliberately threw their game in the group. But sadly for the Indians, the official protest from IOA failed to evoke any response as Jwala and Pannappa were not reinstated. The appeal rejected. This even as the Badminton Federation came down heavily on the Chinese, Indonesian and Korean pairs who tarnished the reputation of the sport. Yes, report. The Indian badminton team alleging a massive match fixing by the Japanese and the Chinese Taipei team in the group stages. Jwala Gutta and Ashwini Panappa crashed out after the Japanese team surprisingly lost to Chinese Taipei in the last group encounter. The Indian duo alleging a massive fixing with the two teams to rob them. A miffed IOA launched a strong protest against the result, but it was rejected by the authorities. The match between the Japanese and the Chinese Taipei team definitely raises suspicions. The Indian team clearly dealt a rough hand at the Olympics. And Gutta and Ponapa's allegations come in the wake of a massive match fixing scam at the London Olympics. As many as eight players from China and South Korea have been disqualified after they played out a farcical match to avoid playing against their compatriots in the next round. An event that has been met with huge derision from all quarters. Yeah, depressing. I mean, who wants to sit through something like that? And, and the sadness of it is, I was actually at Babington yesterday afternoon. I saw some, I saw a you know, British competitor narrowly uh, fail to, to, to progress, but the games were incredibly competitive in front of really large, you know, enthusiastic audiences. Unacceptable. The sport of badminton shamed. The ace Indian pair cheated out for deserving place in the pre quarter finals. But this is not the first instance that India has been hard done at the Olympics. Boxer Sumit Sangwan was also miffed with the way he was treated by the judges. The greatest show on earth, marred by one of the ugliest controversies to have hit sport in a long time. With Gaurav Kala in London, Sports Bureau, headlines today.